Yes, sir. We're officially back at it. This is Boog Nice coming at you with the Marvel Legends Toys R Us exclusive A Force box set overview. Let's do it. This ain't for no scalper. You a scalper? Then fuck out shit. This one for them real collectors. That's army building and posing figures. Marvel Legends imports. Many mates the I'm fucking with. High beast we know about. You. Stay buying figs. Don't know about. It. Just wanted to take a quick look at this box set. I know there's uh, quite a few reviews out already, but you know, people were asking on Instagram, so I figured I'd go through the set real quick and just being consistent. You know, I have my weeks where I put out consistent content and then I uh, go dark for a while, so I just had the time to do this. So I said, fuck it, let's do it. So, left to right, we're looking at uh, Sif. Uh, then we have Monica Rambo, aka uh, Spectrum. Back there, you got Elsa Bloodstone, and then we got She-Hulk, and Singularity, and the female version of Loki. So A-Force was a little mini-series, I guess, that they put out during a Secret Wars run, and it had the all-female Avengers team, and they had a bunch of like classic versions of female Avengers because I believe some of them were crossed over from some of the other universes during that event. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, but, you know, this set is a nice way to kind of bolster your ranks of, of female figures uh, for your 6-inch Marvel Universe. And, uh, yeah, let's look at them one by one. So looking at Sif, and some of the pros for Sif are that it's a totally new character, a character we've never received in uh, Marvel Legends. Uh, it is another Asgardian, so we get to add to our Asgardian uh, characters. Uh, the deco is very nice, and it is comic accurate. I do feel like she probably could have been taller as an Asgardian, but again, I do think this figure is very nice. It's probably one of the standouts from the box set. You do get two accessories. You get a sword which can be sheathed here on the side, which you saw in the opening of the video. And I guess I would consider her, uh, her cape as an accessory too because it is removable. In terms of articulation, the head is on a ball joint. It will look down pretty far. Without the cape on, it'll look back just that far. It'll be less range of motion as far as looking up or back with the cape on, but you do get left to right. You do get a little bit of pivot. Shoulders are going to come up pretty far with the cape off. They can do a full 360. You get a single jointed elbow. You get a wrist swivel and a hinge. Upper torso rotation is just about that much. There is no waist articulation. These two pieces here on the elbow are separate parts, as is this little skirt. Uh, so you can see under there and how that looks. T joint at the pelvis. Legs will come up that far. Split will go out just about that far. Upper thigh swivel. You do get a double jointed knee. Unfortunately, no rotation at the at the boot. You get a hinge and a pivot on the foot. So as far as cons, uh, the big con with her and with most of the figures throughout this set for me personally is the lack of articulation. You know, I always say that about the female figures. We need an ab crunch. We need double jointed elbows, especially with some uh, someone who wields a sword. But I do think this is one of the best figures out of the set. Taking a look at Spectrum and um, pros for this figure is that it is a character that we've never received in a Marvel Legends line. It is a classic character. She has had quite a few classic storylines and runs with the Avengers and what have you, but she has been uh, reinvigorated through that Secret Wars run and through uh, this new era of Marvel and she is a part of the new Ultimates team and if you haven't read that book I would highly recommend that you check it out so um, I'm hoping that Hasbro will move forward and complete that team at some point at some point you have Blue Marvel on that team you have Black Panther you have uh, Miss Marvel or, or Captain Marvel or whatever she's going by now America Sanchez and maybe it was one other person correct me in the in the comments or let me know in the comments but um but yeah so and then you got a, a black female that is uh, few and far in between as far as superheroes go or super heroines go uh, so that is really really cool I do like this figure I think it came out pretty nice but I'll just jump right into the cons cons is the lack of articulation again I would love to see an ab crunch on on her especially on a figure that flies but let's go over the articulation 
and her head is on a ball joint it'll look down not too far at all won't look up too far so there's another con uh, as far as a flying figure goes you do want her to be able to look forward when you have her flying and you're just not going to really get that with this figure but the head will turn left to right you do get quite a bit of pivot on the head so that's cool shoulders are on a ball joint they're going to come up just about that far and you can do a full 360 and unfortunately no bicep swivel that is another con uh single jointed elbow you know i've talked about that already just just now with sif uh you need double jointed elbows on the females but you do get uh hinge and a swivel on the hands uh, another con here was that this hand was warped out of the package the fingers look a little funky so i'm gonna have to do hot water cold water upper torso articulation is going to go back and forth just that much you can turn her left and right but again i really really wish they had a, a ab crunch on this figure um pelvis t-joint at the pelvis the legs are going to come up that far legs will go out that far upper thigh swivel double jointed knee no rotation or cut here you do get a hinge and a pivot on the foot uh, the jacket is not really hindering her articulation in any way it is a nice soft pliable uh, material I would have liked to have the option where you can remove the jacket pop off the arms and have her without the jacket which I believe is a more m modern look for her but still I think this is a great add-on in this pack and a great addition to your six inch Marvel Universe and real quick I think they did a really nice job on her head sculpt too I think it looks very good skin tone looks good uh, you know the eyes are painted nicely no wonky eyes the eyebrows are on fleek everything's looking very nice and taking a look at Elsa Bloodstone if I'm not mistaken she is sort of like a mystical like monster hunter or something like that I believe her father before her was doing the same thing I forget his name if you know let me know in the comments below uh, but this is a nice addition uh, to your six inch Marvel Universe again pro is that she has never been produced in six inch form you do get a couple of accessories in fact she comes with uh, three guns you get the two shotguns which look pretty good uh, the detail is okay it's not the best but then she also comes with a revolver that can be hosted here and this looks pretty decent there we go not too bad on the revolver and I'll be using that with Punisher and other figures but that's cool and uh, another figure with a jacket here she can hold the guns with no problem too so there's no no issue there uh, some of the cons again articulation we need an ab crunch on the female figures I, I'm gonna make that the last time I say this in this review but we need an ab crunch for all of these figures um, I don't like that the hair is not articulated so it'll just be in that one position the whole entire time but it does not hinder the head articulation too much you can still get it to look up pretty far and look down pretty far she's another character with a jacket in this set and it might actually be the same jacket that we just saw on spectrum um, but so you know it's the same articulation arm can do a full 360 shoulder will go up just about that far single jointed elbow uh, swivel and a hinge on the wrist you do get uh, upper waist or upper torso articulation left to right front and back just a little bit T joint at the pelvis legs gonna come up this far split looks like that uh, upper thigh swivel double jointed knee despite this uh, long uh, lady of the night boot <laughs> she's got the uh, the knee is not not hindered you get a hinge and a pivot on the foot and despite that she does kind of have on these heels um, she's not that hard to stand you can stand her up with no with no issue so and the head scope looks pretty good nothing to really write home about but I don't really see too many imperfections no wonky eyes or anything so that's great and up next, we're looking at She-Hulk, a.k.a. Jennifer Walters. This is probably the one that I was looking forward to the most out of the pack, maybe aside from uh, from Monica Rambeau from uh, Spectrum. But um, she's okay. You know, uh, again, lack of articulation. Um, I said I wouldn't mention the ab crunch, but she doesn't have an ab crunch. I'm mentioning it, God damn it. Uh, but the lack of articulation and the fact that her torso here at this point is... It's so long, but there's no movement here. Makes it really awkward if you want to get her in sort of like a crouching position. Now, she looks great when you have her in a vanilla pose, but to really get some dynamic poses out of her, it's, it's going to be a little difficult. And not that it's going to be difficult, but it's going to look a little awkward. 
um, but the uh, pros is that we definitely needed an updated She-Hulk. We needed a new She-Hulk with this kind of look. I'd like to see them maybe re-release this figure at some point with her with the Fantastic Four logo. Um, but she has a really nice head sculpt, which I'll show in a second. But getting into articulation, the head is on a ball joint. It's hindered a little bit by her hair, but the articulation is there. Uh, but you're really going to mostly get left to right and pivot and just down. I mean, if you push her hair back, you know, it's going to look awkward as far as how the hair falls. So really, the best position, again, is just like a vanilla stance. But shoulders on a ball joint, they're going to come up pretty far. You can do a full 360 upper bicep swivel on this particular figure which is cool single jointed elbow I forgot to mention that all of them actually swivel at the elbow too so anybody that I showed thus far with the single jointed elbow there is a swivel as well uh, you get a swivel and a hinge on the wrist and you do get upper um, chest or upper torso rotation and that's pretty much it though it'll go back and forward I would have liked to see this come down just a bit more again this whole area here and the lack of articulation there is just a pain in the ass. T-joint at the pelvis. Legs are going to come up that far. They've got this kind of older um, hip joints here. Um, so, you know, it's kind of weird. You might have to check yours when you get it out of the package and make sure this joint is rotated the right way. I think I have it the right way now. But out of the package, mine was a little funny. You get an upper thigh swivel. You get double jointed knees. No rotation at the boot. That would have been nice. You get a hinge and a pivot on the foot. And like I said, her head sculpt is very nice. Uh, there's a couple of little green highlights in the hair. The way the hair flows and the way it looks is really nice. Um, but again, the fact that you can't really move the head forward and get it to look natural is, uh, is just disappointing. But I do think they have a really nice head sculpt here. Again, no wonky eyes. The paint and everything on the face looks, looks very and looking at Singularity, this is a character I don't really know too much about. I, I feel like she was introduced during this whole Secret Wars thing. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Let me know some of her history in the comments below. I didn't bother looking her up too much. But it's a nice figure. Uh, you know, all of this kind of like speckled uh, paint and everything. This is pretty much exactly how she looks in the comments. And uh, she is a flyer. Um, so that's why I had it back there up on the flight stand along with uh, Spectrum. And uh, real quick, shout out to everybody who purchased flight stands in this last drop. They sold out really fast, so thanks thanks to that. Uh, they should be back up maybe in like another uh, couple months maybe. Uh, so shameless plug there. But yeah, this is a, a pretty nice figure. I would have liked to see maybe some inter interchangeable hands or something like that. I did get two of these box sets though. And I will say there was... Uh, quite a bit of quality control issues between the two there was a little bit in both sets one set I sent out to my man uh, Craig Warwick but on one of the spectrums uh, this area here was very loose and the leg was warped here so you might have to look out look out for that on this particular version the legs are pretty straight they look they look pretty decent but uh, that's the thing about these big box sets when you get a figure that's kind of wonky you know what are you gonna do buy a whole nother box set you know this retailed for 119 bucks in my area which is another thing i want to talk about i'm all over the place but this is an overview so whatever um you know i, I wish that when you when uh, hasbro released uh box sets they would give you a deal i mean you got six figures you're paying 120 you pretty much still paying 20 bucks a figure there's really no deal there give us a deal give us some extra things packed in with the set uh, knock ten dollars off the set since we buy in a whole set that's how it should be you buy in bulk you get it cheaper right but anyway so uh let's look at our articulation this is the smallest female buck that has been has been putting out same buck that they use for uh spider gwen and the other spider woman with that kind of burgundy suit and I don't know who else, but you guys know uh, this is that small buck. So the head's on the ball joint. The head will actually look down pretty far. And while the articulation is there for the head to look back, uh, because of the hair, this hair is very hard. It's not soft and pliable. You're not going to really get her to look back. And again, that's disappointing because she is a fly. If I could get her head to look forward here, that would be really nice. And the fact that even here in the upper torso, it doesn't move too much. You can't even kind of finagle it and move this up if you wanted to get her flying forward. So, uh, again, all of these females just lack in articulation. So the shoulders will come up pretty damn far. And you can do a full 360, no upper bicep swivel, no cut there. You do get a single jointed elbow, and it will swivel at the elbow. 
uh, hinge and a swivel on the wrist. Again, that's a move left to right, barely forward or back, nothing here and this elongated uh, abdominal area but no articulation there. So T-joint at the pelvis, these legs will pop off too if I'm not mistaken. Um, I haven't popped it off or articulated too much where the legs popped off but I do feel like these will will pop off if I remember correctly about this buck. So legs will go out that far, come up that far. Uh, you do get an upper thigh swivel, it's tight. There we go. You do get a double jointed knee and you do actually get rotation at the boot on this figure and you do get a hinge. You got to be careful with this hinge on this particular foot uh, because it does kind of get stuck sometimes and you don't want to break off this foot. But you do get a nice deep ankle pivot and this is a nice figure but you know it's a flyer. We need her to have certain articulation in the head and neck and upper torso. Uh, and it should be noted that you got to make sure this is rotated properly. I had this arm rotated the wrong way where the back of the arm here was in the front. And so you do get just a bit more than 90 degrees on her. Still not considered double jointed, but it's a little better than some of the other females from the back. And last but not least, we're looking at the female Loki. If you don't know, at some point in the comics, Loki had like got cursed or ousted from Asgard or something they put a I don't remember who it was but he got turned into a female and was running around as a female for some time this was during the dark rain era which is like one of the greatest eras in comics in my personal opinion but uh, so this was when the dark Avengers were uh, popular I see some little lint on here but this is when the dark Avengers was was popular and he was uh, Loki was running around like this in Norman's ear and just up to mischief or what have you. So I'm really happy to get this particular version of Loki. I do think as an Asgardian, uh, this figure could have been taller just like Sif. Um, I'm not really happy that they used this, this particular buck. I think Loki should have been a little bigger, but it is a nice figure. The deco and everything is pretty damn accurate uh, to the comics. Uh, quality control issue that I saw on one of these figures was that one of the uh, little horns was out um, So you got to be careful with that um, You could uh, put it back in glue it back in I guess but the other thing was that the hands were warped on Loki as well You can see that finger is all over the place. So I don't really like these Magic hands on the on the females or the fact that there is no interchangeable hands I mean again, it's a box set Throw in some extra things in the box set Give us some relaxed hands so they don't always have to look so funky and you don't always have to be doing magic when you setting up a scene or setting up a shot or having to hide the hands. You know, that's a pain in the ass. But uh, one accessory with Loki, which is this cape, pretty much the same exact cape that we got on Sif. So it's, it's removable and that's that. But, you know, once you do remove it, then you got that gaping... <laughs> Uh, you got that gap there in between the uh, the back of her hair and her back so that looks really funky so you don't really want to take that off but uh, as Loki you know he's not really jumping around or she's not really jumping around and running around or whatever the case may be you do want her to be able to sit at some point you're not gonna get her to sit with this thing on and even with this you got to kind of finesse it if you wanted to sit if you wanted her to sit and for everything to look streamlined and look good you would need to make something cloth but um yeah so it's not the greatest aesthetically but it is nice to have this particular version of loki in terms of articulation head is on a ball joint going to be hindered by the hair so it's not going to really look forward too much unless you swing the hair back like that and that looks really awkward and then you know it's not going to go back that far either um it's decent but the head is popping off that joint so uh, not the greatest. You will get left to right. You will definitely get pivot. Shoulders will come up pretty far. So that looks like that. And you can get a full 360. You do get an upper bicep swivel, single jointed elbow with a swivel on the elbow, uh, swivel and a hinge on the wrist, upper torso rotation. That's pretty much it. Nothing at the waist. This is a separate piece. T joint at the pelvis. Legs will come out just that far and go up just that far. Double jointed knee and a hinge and a pivot on the foot and again you need to be careful with these these feet as well and man I, I really do wish this chick had more articulation and just a couple quick size comparisons with related characters we've got the return of Marvel Legends Thor back there behind Sif 
And, uh, you know, I've always thought that this Thor was a little too big, and I never really liked the articulation scheme on this Thor, but they do look pretty good together. And then we got the Unworthy Thor right there, and I think the size between these two look pretty good, even though, like I said, I do think that Sif probably could have been taller, and then maybe she would have went a little bit better with the previous Thor that I just showed, but I don't know, they're kind of all over the place with the scale. And who should be taller here? Should uh, female Loki be taller than Sif, or should Sif be taller? Should they be about the same height? Again, I don't know. Scale's all over the place. And there she is side by side with Jane Foster Thor. Uh, I think that's right. I think Jane Foster Thor is a little shorter than Sif. I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong. And then looking at her side by side with another Asgardian, Angela here, you can see they actually share... Uh, some parts it looks like the lower legs the body might actually be the same so now i'm kind of rethinking that size thing uh i don't know maybe sif just looks kind of short uh but it does appear that angela might just be just a bit taller it could just be the hair but yeah i do think they look pretty nice side by side and there's she hulk next to valkyrie which uh, i believe valkyrie shares the same buck as that red she hulk that they had put out uh some time ago but I do not believe that this She-Hulk and Valkyrie are the same exact. I do feel like they may share some parts, but I think that the torso area might be a little different. But um, I did think She-Hulk was a little on the short side, but I guess she's about right uh, comparing her to, to Valkyrie here. And just so you can see why I question the height, this is the old Toy Biz She-Hulk, and you can see how much taller and and girthier she is than this newer one and granted she does have on the heels let me see if i could find the flats and maybe take this this suit off i think this was the sdcc exclusive she hulk so you're definitely not going to be swapping any heads between the two for one the skin tones don't really match up and the head on the uh sdcc version is is much larger correct me if i'm wrong maybe this was sdcc or nycc i'm pretty sure it was sdcc but anyway yeah I did find the flats and I took the uh, the uh, suit jacket and the uh, skirt off. So, But yeah, you can see that original Toy Biz version was very large. And there she is side by side with the uh, Hulk builder figure or the uh, Thor Ragnarok Hulk builder figure. And I do feel like they're going to be using this Hulk for a regular classic Hulk, this particular buck. So um, I guess those scale about right. Maybe She-Hulk still could be a little bigger. And there's the Builder Figure Abomination, and I've always said that this figure was just a little bit on the short side. The legs could have just been longer. I feel like the upper torso, the girth of the figure is great, but he should have been a bit taller. So all in all, not a bad set. Um, I would definitely recommend that you pick it up, especially if you can wait and hold out and get it on clearance, then it's really worth it. I don't know if it's worth the uh, New York City price tag of 120 bucks. You know, I kind of jumped out the window, I guess, with that. But um, but yeah, if you can get it on clearance, go for it. I'll be uh, showing some more displays and doing some different things. I'm just speaking over a, a still image right now. But I was just trying to pump out these reviews the, the last couple of days. I haven't really been doing my little displays at the end of the video. So I'm going to get uh, geared up. I got a lot of stuff coming next week, a lot of new stuff, and I'll be uh, shooting uh, footage for main course. So as always, thanks for hanging out. Uh, rate, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, peace. That's crispy.